when I tell you I've never spit my star glitter so good in my life. What is up guys? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. And in today's video, your boy Whisker Chan is going to show off this insane unit which you can buy in the star glitter shop. Well, you technically only have a couple of days to get him, but I will show you um if you don't know how to get him, you go to the shop and you go to Paimon's uh, Bargains and you go to Star Glitter Exchange. Now he was originally 34 Star Glitter. Masterless Star Glitter, he was 34 Star Glitter. Um, I summoned a lot, so of course I got him. If you haven't watched the summon videos, I will link I will link it, you know, right here probably. It'll probably just pop up at the top, you know, thingy thing right there or right here. Anyway, okay. <laughs> but anyway guys, yeah, I already bought him. Um, basically, he leaves in 14 days. So you have 14 days to get him and or you could just get him from summoning and just hope your luck is just insane you know what i'm saying but like other than that this unit is actually very fun and insane we're gonna go through a unit breakdown real quick of him because he does have a couple of things that must be said about him right so first things first he's an electro type you guys know this and um Let's talk, let's just go down the line, right? His best weapon with him, literally overall, the best weapon that uh, I've tested between all my weapons, basically, um, it's the Aminus. And the Aminus is a free-to-play great sword which you can forge. Like I said, I have a video where I show you where the prototype is, the great sword prototype, the Claymore prototype. If you do need that, go ahead and go to that video if you haven't got it from the location that I have showed in the video then get that right now and you could go make your animus but uh, aminus but don't forget that you need 50 crystal and like 70 70 iron I think it was the um the white iron or whatever it's called right so for sure this sword is the best with him and because on hit normal or charge attacks have a 50% chance uh, to deal an additional 240% uh, attack damage right and then the base attack is 293 i only have a level 50 i'm currently going to grind in the video to show you what he does and also to get the things i need to get him level 60 with his aminus right and this occurs to enemies within a small aoe this can occur only once every 15 seconds which isn't bad and then the sub stat is attack plus 17.9 percent which is really good now uh, artifact wise Right now, what I'm running is I'm running the Resolution of Sojourner set, right? I have the four-piece set right now. Basically, a two-piece set gives you plus 18% attack. You want to give you want to give Razor a lot of attack, a lot of attack, or a lot of crit damage, or a lot of crit rate, because he is he is built to literally dominate the field. He is such a good for a four-star. He he should be five-star in my opinion. He is absolutely insane. So yeah, I have the Resolu uh, Resolution of Sojourner four-piece set. And basically on each set, I uh, I try to either get HP. Well, if I can get HP, if I don't have attack, I get HP, right? But I have some with attack, which is 15.6. I have uh, HP again. Then we have attack right here. We get as much attack as we can. And then also with the sub stats, sub stats we make sure it's like crit damage or crit rate or something like that. So, I mean, guys, when you try to get these pieces, you're not always going to get something with the right sub stat or with the base stat. So, I don't even stress it. Just try your best and get what you can, okay? So basically, that's the set I run on him. I don't really have anything leveled up yet because I'm planning on getting four star Sojourner set, right? I'm planning on getting a four star Sojourner set for him because he deserves it, <laughs> or even potentially a five star, right? Or Gladiator set because he's really, he's also really good with Gladiator set. Which if you don't know what Gladiator set is, I'm going to show you real quick exactly what Gladiator set is. Oh yeah, also Heart of Bravery set also works with him. This is the Braveheart set. This increases attack plus 18% and also on a 4 piece set increases damage by 30% and gets enemies with more than 50% health. But honestly, in my opinion, I feel like you should run this one right here. Increases uh, charge attack crit rate by 30%. I like that because I like charge. I mean, it's really, it really depends on whether you hold or you don't hold. It's up to you, but they're both really good sets in my opinion and both do really, really good damage, right? So let's just uh, continue to find this gladiator set. Oh yeah, also um, Bloodstained Chivalry will work. Chivalry will work really, really good with Razor because physical damage plus 25%. Even if it's two piece set, the physical damage plus 25% really does Razor a big favor, like really, really big damage, right? So also, all right, and here we have it, the gladiator set, which you can get from after being Storm Terror. If you haven't beat Storm Terror in story mode yet, after you beat Storm Terror. You can um, either get it on the first one right here, 
or you can do a, a little more a little more challenging one that probably requires level 60 which is uh, right here which gives you a chance to also drop the five star set of gladiator set uh, and what gladiators finale does is a two-piece that gives attack plus 18% sort of like the sojourners uh, the sojourners right and then the four-piece set if the wielder of this artifact set uses a sword claymore or pol polar arm increases their normal attack damage 35% and guess who uses a claymore literally this set is perfect for him even if you could get four star that'd be good right but like definitely what you want to go for is the, the five star for sure so i'll be grinding that out of course to get that because i really need him a four to five star set of gladiator or uh sojourner it depends but those are the best sets for him um other than that uh, look at his dps i know i didn't talk to you just now but look at his dps one to four hit it's 118 to 167 i have mine's level four of course um and also here is his his um skill his press skill damage is 214 but if you hold this skill it is 317 percent damage and energy recharge bonus is 20 percent per electro sigil energy regenerate is 5.0 per electro sigil absorb electro sigil duration is 18 seconds and then the press cooldown is six seconds and the hold cooldown is 10 seconds which is not bad but the problem with him is if you want to get his ult which is his um his lightning fang Elemental burst damage 172%, soul companion 25.8% normal attack damage plus his normal attack damage. Normal attack speed bonus 28%, so he is greatly boosted when you use this uh, when you use this ultimate. He is greatly boosted speed and greatly boosted attack. And he also deals electro damage as well, right? The cooldown is 20 seconds, the energy cost is 80, the duration is for 15 seconds. Now, the only problem with this is in order to get his ult, you have to continuously use his claw and thunder like i mean continuously like you have to basically he hogs up all your your team he's the he's the star player basically guys. so for sure keep that into consideration even though he does massive damage he is not much of a team player when it comes to ultimate but if you just want to nuke and everything you can just use him literally he's that good he's literally he can he can solo anything if you actually try right i'm gonna actually make some videos on soloing once i get his uh gladiator set and whatnot but anyway let's get right into the fights let's show what he can do all right let's get this started let's see this damage right right now you gotta consider that i don't have um i do not have my armor on or i don't have good armor but like this is with no armor basically like my armor only has an 18 plus percent uh attack basically that's it and he's doing this damage this is really good damage i can't really do anything to them i actually have to get them out of the way hold on let's do this i still have to get myself for this guy too i can't wait to bro this i love vinci vinci's actually really good all right let's kill these guys a lot of electros man let me do this right here oh he's a um, they're immune of course because they're electro type to the to the damage that he does the extra uh damage he does with his um with his ultimate lightning thing but i mean hopefully the next wave is not electro type maybe probably are so yeah they are everything's electro so i mean this is a good show of his raw damage basically can't do anything about it look at that damage look at his damage he plays no games I need my ult with, uh, no, no joke. Damage is insane. And this is without the gladiator set. Like, I could be doing so much more damage. This guy could be so better, so much better. I swear, I just accidentally did that. That was insane. All right, let's do this. Let's do this right here. Let's do this. Yeah, man, this dude is insane. I'm gonna go somewhere where I can actually affect them though, like with the electro damage as well, so that we can show his max damage with no gear basically and just raw damage. All right, guys, so now we are in a, I think this is a water type cave. Yep, so we're gonna do electro damage. So we're gonna see how much damage he can actually do, right? Oh my god, this damage is massive. Oh, he's a monster, he's so good. And this is no max out armor. This is just the attack set bonus and also some of the substats that apply to him, right? Which is extremely good. Okay, I'm running out of stamina. I mean, some of the, some of the stamina back. You know what I'm saying? Look how good Vinci is too. I can't wait to make a showcase on him too, cause he is just that good. 
All right, time. Let's go. Look at that. Oh my goodness, this damage is insane. Like he could he's good for main DPS and like I said, he hogs most of the time, but he's really really good for main DPS. Like really 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 good. Man destroys his enemies within like seconds. You just need to build them right, of course. Which I sh I told you the sets you should use. So like for sure, just use those sets and you'll be fine. Use those sets if you want maximum damage with Razor, like maximum. Especially this weapon right here. This weapon grants him maximum damage as well. You you do have to refine this weapon though if you want to like whale him. Basically, you want to whale Razor, refine this weapon, and if he does come back to the shop, just buy dupes of him to max out his constellation. That's for whaling though. So, but anyway. That that's literally razor. I'm not gonna make this video too long You guys this dude is actually insane if in my opinion you have 14 days to buy this character I feel like you should buy him as soon as you can um You may I, I see a lot of comments in my uh, YouTube comments. We all are like ah oh, man I spent it on the wrong thing. I don't have enough star glitter this that and the third and All I can say is if you really really want razor either you summon and hopefully get him or you summon to get the star glitter to get him. You have to summon a lot, of course. But, like, in, at the end of the day, if you could get Razor, like, that would be so good. Especially if you're a beginner. Razor is so good. He's so good at this game. Right? He's a, he's a really good DPS. Like, extremely good DPS. He has extremely, and I mean extremely good stats. And Electro Damage is always just the best to me. Especially if you combine him with Water, uh, water or Hydro. And then you get the, yeah, you get the Electro Damage. Plus the Electro Charge, and then you can combine them with Fire, get the over... Um, I, said, I almost said overpowered. Jesus Christ. Grand Cross, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> you can get the overcharge thingy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's about it for this showcase. I don't want to show him off too much, guys. Just make sure if you can, get him. And definitely get the weapon that uh, I recommended, as well as the gear if you can, what I, that I recommended. Most people that uh, are watching this video are probably over AR-30. If you're not, then definitely consider watching this, consider getting Razor. But if you're AR-30, then you know what you have to do. You know what uh, gear you have to get. You Go ahead and do it. He is worth it. He is 100% worth it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. We're almost at 600 subscribers. We are literally 8 subscribers away from hitting 600, guys. That is woggers. You know, like poggers, woggers, you know, like subscribers, woggers. I mean, pog. Y'all get what I'm saying? That is woggers, guys. And I'm going to tell y'all, please can we ha hit it by the end of this day? Please. Because I'm posting this video later today, probably at 4 p.m. You'll get this video at 4 p.m., guys. But anyway, please can we hit 600 subscribers by the end of this day, guys. That would mean so much to me, and we would we would pop off, okay? But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like button down below. Join the subscribers and the grind to 600 subscribers, which we are 8 away from. And I hope you guys are having, having a great day, morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Gotta go.